Hello, uh, everyone. We are, in fact, indeed local spot. We're going to do a mono scene. Uh, what that means is, unlike uh, other improv that you may have seen, our entire show is going to take place in one time, one location. No jumps or changes or time skips or scene location changes or any of that other fancy uh, magic of improv. It's just going to be one big, long scene. Uh, in order to get started, we need a word. Something Brian can see in his basement. I, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm like, I always like tr have to triple guess and say. Wait, um, are there hubcaps in your basement? Sorry. There is a there is a picture with a hubcap on it, a album cover. Um, mm. I'm going to say uh, skateboard. That is not in here. It just came into my mind. Ooh, using that creative Ooh. thought. Wow. How'd you ever wow. think about it if you couldn't see it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm anyway, growing up. I'm I'm growing up, everybody. Nice. Skateboard. Um, we find ourselves in a skateboard shop. Uh, there's a uh, big sign out front that says Grandpa's Skateboard Shop. And uh, it's the picture of, it's an elderly man uh, riding a skateboard and he is thrashing it um, on the logo. Uh, in, inside the shop in the corner, there's like a little quarter pipe so that people can practice some moves, but it's, it's only like a few feet tall. So it's not at all dangerous, uh, but it is there and people can test out their skills, you know, a little bit. Give the boards a test run. There's a sign. Uh... Uh, above the above the front entrance, it says, um, "Everything must go, seventy five percent off clearance." Mm. Uh, and you can see in the store, pretty much everything has gone, uh, with the exception of uh, one old, well loved skateboard that uh, has a price tag under it of seven hundred and fifty dollars. Local Swap presents. Skateboard. Come on, Dad. Dad, I want that skateboard. You, 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 Carrie, it's it, it's seven hundred and fifty dollars. I mean, I I know that I'm very successful as a businessman, but it's like seven hundred and fifty dollars just on principle. I don't know that I can pay that. It's, ugh, there's nothing, none other like it. It's an original, it's a grandpa original. Okay, this was the first skateboard he ever made. Look, grandpa is, is a legend in the skateboard business. I know that, but it's like, I took you here just because you've been begging me to all these years, you know? But like, I really, I really want you to get into something practical, you know, like, what if I got you like an accounting textbook or something like that? Or like, um, gross. I, gross. No, not, not gross. <laughs> I said gross. You I heard what you said. It's not gross. Okay. Uh, it is gross. What you, you go to work every day and you type, type, type. And you're like counting <laughs> like two plus two gross. I don't want to do that. I want to skateboard dad and I'm good at it. Watch. Look, as far as skateboarding goes, it's very impressive. I'm not going to say it isn't. I couldn't do that. But I've never tried to do that, okay? And, and first off, for the record, accounting is more than just type, type, type. As I always tell you, there's so much excitement about accounting. And things that seem normal and boring when you're a kid. As an adult, you get to see how cool they are when you get older. And you can make money doing them. Young man, I'm older, and I don't think accounting is cool. Grandpa, <laughs> that's Grandpa skateboard. Dad, 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 get your camera. Dad, get your camera. Dad, Grandpa your skateboard. Tie off. Take All your right. stupid tie off. You look like a dweeb. Oh my I, God. I, this is a, this tie indicates that I am a white collar worker, and, and a dweeb. I, I'm not a dweeb. I'm not. A dweeb. Mr. Skateboard Grandpa, sir, I am so sorry about my dad. It's just, it is an honor to meet you. Finally, I've been meaning to come in here, but my dad wouldn't let me. 
Uh, I'm not. I'm just a man. Not to worry. Right. Look, uh, <laughs> I've, I've met my share of dweebs in my time. My son, in fact, he's a dweeb. Really? Mm-hmm. Yep. How, how's that possible? I mean... Well, you know the concept of teenage rebellion. Oh, oh yes, I know that concept. Oh, good lord. I, if I wasn't, ever tell... wasn't talking to you, do we? Okay, well, you know. Yeah. Yeah, teenage rebellion. It's when your dad has dreams for you that aren't in line with who you really are. Kind of, yeah, almost. Okay. Uh, put a few more generations behind that and you'll... You got, you got the concept. Well, imagine if your dad had dreams for you that involved extreme sports mountain climbing, rocket jumping, all sorts of things like that. Sounds and you amazing. turned around and you went and became a... I didn't, I didn't hear what he said. I think he was saying that like you could all, your father could also have dreams about you being in accounting or That's economics like, or finance. What? No, who would ever say that? No, my, my son went in to be an outside sales guy. He sells, I don't know, nothing exciting. It's like school books or something. I don't even know. I, He's a textbook sales rep? Yeah. Oh! Oh, wow. I bet that's interesting. That, I bet no, it's not. No, queen. Dad, it's not. It feels it's like not. a pretty cool fella. It's not interesting. Oh, Grandpa, I am so sorry. Okay. Um, you know what? You guys are talking... Please don't put any ideas in my daughter's head. I'm going to go take a look over there. I saw you had some um, some old comic books as well. So I, I'm uh, I'm going to go take a look at those. I, I fancied those when I was a kid. I don't want to really buy one or anything, but because uh, I don't do that silliness anymore. We'll buy, but, we'll buy one. We'll buy some. No, we're not going to buy one. I'm just going to look. Just for, quick trip down memory lane, and then that's it. Okay. Big dweeb. That's not. I'm cool. Okay. Any I'm comic cool. book on that rack, pick one out. That's a gift. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, well, we'll talk. I might take you up on that. Thank you, thank you, Grandpa Skateboard. Sorry about that. Not to worry. I've, it's tax I've season. It's tax season, you know. So he's. I'm sorry. What? I've met my share of dweebs. Yeah. Well, it's tax season, so he's, you know, even more uptight than normal. But man, this. This original, this grandpa original, she's a beauty. Yeah, that was the uh, first skateboard I ever made. I know. I followed your career. Actually, uh, I actually have your book. Uh, if you could, you sign. Oh, could you sign it? Absolutely. What's uh, what's your name? Harry K E R I. Wow, I just can't believe this place is closing down when I've only just found it or visited it. Well, unfortunately, I was hoping it would turn into a family business. It would go from grandpa skateboards to pa skateboards to grandson skateboards and et cetera, you know, pass down the family line. But as I said, my son is, he's a dweeb. Wait. So if your son wanted to care, continue the business, this place could stay open? Theoretically. I don't go for such foolish things. Bob. He's not going to go for such foolishness. <sighs> sir, Mr. Grandpa's son, sir, I think you should reconsider. I mean, look at this place. It's like skateboard heaven. There's a yep. half pipe in the store. Yes, and... That half pipe has led to several injuries, and it's one of the reasons that this foolish father of mine can't keep his store open. Uh, not, nope. It's actually just because I'm getting old and I want to enjoy fruits of retirement. Oh, you can tell whoever you want that, but I've seen the financials. I'm pretty good with money. You see, I am a textbook sales rep. Ugh. You uh, look like you're high school age. Would you? Maybe like to buy some textbooks? Oh, God. 
gosh, that's even not how you're supposed to do your job. You're not supposed to sell to the students. Yeah, he's not even a good textbook <laughs> salesman. Look, What's, I'm what, go... the only thing worse than a textbook salesman is a bad textbook salesman. Look, I'm going to go use the half pipe while I still can. Carrie? Yes? You can ride this one. Grandpa is original. Be gentle. I will. I will. She's going to get injured. Probably. Then she'll pick herself back up, get back on the skateboard, and keep doing it. Just like you never did. How dare you? How's that one scabby knee you had in seventh grade? Has it healed up by now? Oh, it's healed. Yeah, exactly. But the scabby heart from the disdain in your eyes when I fell off that skateboard, <gasps> it never did. It wasn't about you falling off. It was about you not getting back up. You didn't even give me a chance to get back up. And when I saw how disappointed you looked when I slipped and fell off a skateboard after I hadn't fallen for six years, I knew I wasn't going to get on a skateboard ever again. You really think it was because you fell? How many times do you think I fell when I was your age on a skateboard? How many times do you think Tony Hawk fell? The point isn't the Who's falling. Who's Tony Hawk? Who's Tony? Good Lord, Tony. Okay. Did he say who's Tony Hawk? Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, I said who? Who's Tony Hawk? Unbelievable. Look, son, I imagine you came here for a reason. Yeah, it's your birthday. Is it? So mom made no me come by and wish you a happy birthday. Well, you've done it. Great. I bought this store. Good. I'm going to use it to sell textbooks. It's fine. Direct it's going out of business content. anyway. Oh, I know. Why don't you love me? Why didn't you try harder at skateboarding? I skateboarded flawlessly for six years. I had one fall in the seventh grade and you looked like your heart was broken. So I knew I'd never be good enough. So I nipped it in the bud. Yeah, the one time you didn't succeed at something on the first try, you gave it up. Cause you looked heartbroken. And you, I knew that I would never reach your standards. So I said, I'm going to live my own life. I'm going to do you my own thing. Skateboard? I'm terrible. I'm Wait, so what? bad. What? I am one of, I am the, I, I am bad at skateboarding. No balance. Never had oh. any good balance. Hold on a second. I got an inner ear thing. What? I what? Oh. I never. You you never. I've never seen you skateboard. Exactly. Look, I was always in it for the love of the sport, not for the, not for the being good at it. Then why did you? thrust a skateboard into my hands when I was eight years old and tell me to skate. Because I wanted you to be good at it, but uh, even if you hadn't been, if you See, stuck there it, it out. There, no, there it is, right there. See, you wanted me to be good. You were living vicariously through me. I'm not going to put up with it. I'm going to be my own man. Good, I'm back. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those are some interesting comic books back there. Uh, I'm not going to take one home because I don't want to be silly, but wait, 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 wait a minute. Chad? Chad Skateboard? Carlson? Carlson, Carlson Winchester? Winchester from, yeah, from middle school. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I never, I never put two and two together that your family was the skateboards of Grandpa Skateboard. I haven't seen you since school. I mean, there are like four different skateboard families at East Middle, so I get it. No, yeah, right, I'm, one, right. I'm, yeah I'm Chad Skateboard, son of Grandpa, Grandpa Skateboard. Wow. Oh my God, I heard you... Wait, you're, you're a textbook salesman? 
Yeah, I'm living the dream, kind of, you know. God just, uh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you were slated for good things. You were always, you know, you were always such a good student. I mean, I, I, I tried. I tried. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about tell me about selling textbooks. I mean, it must be magnificent. <laughs> Oh, I mean, l- listen, when you get those school administrators in a room and you oh. explain to them how this update of their old book is fixes all the gaps, fill in all the things, uh-huh. better graphics, better, you know, better diagrams. And then you see that light go on in their eyes and they agree to re-up wow. with Rand McNally. And it's, it's great. It's it's the dream. Um, is that your is that your daughter that's over there skating? Yeah, uh, Carrie. She's over there skating. I'm Whoosh. trying to teach her that accounting is cool, or um, yeah, economics, finance. Hell, being a textbook salesman. If I could have a little textbook salesman in my family, wow. Well, I listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little advice. Oh, I, I'll take anything from you. Let Carrie be who she wants to be. What? Let her be who she wants to be. My dad wanted me to be a skateboarder. Wanted me to shred the gnar all over the place. Not really. Just wanted to connect with you about something. This is a small store. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, listen, he ah! wanted... Did you see that wipeout? <laughs> I think I broke my fibia. Oh my God, your fibia. Yeah, my uh, tib- tibula, I whatever it's broke, called. Remember the first time I broke my fibia? I got, hang on, I got a Band-Aid for that. Okay, wow, this, this skateboard's really something. Can I have it, Dad? Can I, can I, can I? It's $750, I just, <sighs> I've been talking to Chad here. Did you meet Chad, skateboard? Uh, Chad, the guy from school you're always talking about? Yeah, I didn't. I was I didn't realize he was one of the skateboards. There was four skateboard families. There was Chad skateboard, there was Alyssa skateboard, there was Tommy and Tina skateboard. They were twins. They were a year behind us. And uh, Billy skateboard was uh he lived up on Maple Avenue. But yeah, I didn't Tina's realize actually my cousin. What's that? Tina's actually my cousin. Yeah, Tina and Tina, they're your cousins. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So there was a connection. So it was like three different skateboard families, but just no, three different yeah. households, but three Dad, different I'm lineages. pretty sure everyone named skateboard is probably related to each other. I don't. We checked, actually. Tommy and Tina were not related to us, um, which I thought was weird because I kind of looked like Tommy. Everyone said yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, we're not. Um, Our family Dad. is distantly from France, and I think Tommy and Tina were from uh, Austria. Look, Grandpa, just ring it up, okay? We're going to get this game whoa, and whoa. the comic. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hold on one second here. Do you have $750? I'll tell you what, Mr. Carlston. I'll throw in the skateboard with that free comic book. If you just hop on it and ride that, that half pipe just once, one time. Do it, Dad. You're going to get injured. Probably. Go on. Even if you die, it's worth it. What? It's such you... a beautiful experience. No, I don't think. Even if I die, who's going to run the accounting firm? Uh, half, half of the half of the fertilizer yeah. companies in town use our yeah. accounting services. They can really follow taxes. Skateboards family, excuse us for a second, please. I have to. I think I know what's going on here. Sure. Look, Dad. You always said that that Chad was the one that got away, right? You think about him all the time, and now he's here. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't let this opportunity to impress him go by. If you if he sees you on that half bite, I mean, think about it. He told me I should let you skateboard. You should. I don't know. I don't know. I think so much of Chad, but it just doesn't make logical sense in my logical brain. I've gone over the pluses and the minuses and done a cost-benefit comparison. I'm trying to account in your life and just (laughs) ride it. 
Oh. All right, we're done. That was good talk, Dad. I, um, so what do you say? I'm, I'm going to just set the skateboard down here. And uh, I need to use the restroom real quick. Uh, but I will be back. I trust Carrie will be well behaved for you guys here, skateboards. And uh, I will be back momentarily. All right. See ya. You don't have a restroom. Nope. He'll probably go pretend to go to the bathroom and he'll wait four and a half minutes because that's how long it takes him usually. Chad. Dad. You know what I like about Carrie? What's that? She's been walking around on a broken fibula for the last five minutes. It hurts okay. too. Did you see her skateboarding over there? Well, she's standing here right now, but... When she was. Three and a half minutes. She wasn't good. I, she's pretty good. She's never going to go pro. But that's hey. not the point. The point is she loves it. The point is she tries. The point is... She feels the wind in her hair and she feels her heart flying free when she's on that skateboard. You don't get it at all. Does your heart is... fly free when you're selling textbooks, son? Yes, it does. You got really? wind in your hair? I'm, I'm bald. Yet another shame. <laughs> Two and a half. Dad, you wanted me to skateboard. I didn't want to skateboard. I did it because I thought it would connect with you. And then when I failed a little bit and you looked crestfallen and heartbroken, I knew that I needed to be my own person. I needed to be Chad's skateboard and not have to worry about being the son of grandpa skateboard, which was weird because you didn't have grandkids yet, but you had people call you grandpa skateboard. Yes. Now you have in high school. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, that, makes, that makes a lot of sense. But listen, I found a joy in selling textbooks to school administrators, and now I found a way to sell it directly to the point of contact. That makes you a bookseller. That makes you a retail outlet, not a sales rep. There's the, well, I mean, it's I, totally not, you're not a publisher sales rep at that point. That's totally. Well, I'm, I'm diversifying and I'm changing. But I'm, How do I'm I know more about this than you do? You don't. I'm 30 seconds. Look, my dad's going to be back soon. And before he comes back, I just need you to know, Chad, my dad's in love with you. And he has been since middle school. And, and if he doesn't skateboard on that half pipe, I'm afraid he'll never take a chance on anything in his life. When was the last time you took a chance, son? I mean, I just opted for the new line of textbooks that weren't published uh, based on Texas standards. That was a pretty big deal. It's go time. Carlston, 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 Carlston. You didn't, you guys didn't hear anything, did you? It is an awfully small store. Nope. Nope. No, didn't hear Hey, Chad. Anything. Grandpa special. Check out this. Go, Dad. Oh God, his spine's broken. I think it's broken spine. Oh God. But, but I feel healthier and more alive than I ever had before. That's my point. See? Oh God. Oh. He's oh God. He's probably gonna die, but he feels healthier and more alive. Chad, I'm gonna get this wrapped up, and then I want to have dinner with you tonight. You need to spend time in a medical facility. Oh, so you're not going to have dinner with him because he's yeah. a skateboarder? No, that's not it. He's, he needs more attention. Oh, God. Fine, I'll get on the skateboard. I'll get on the goddamn skateboard. Wow. Oh, that was a gnarly wipeout. Oh, Wow, Chad, man. Chad? Chad? Son? 
Uh oh. See, this is what I'm talking about. He's not getting back up. I uh, I think he's, I think he's dead. Nah. No, no, no. He can't be. Chad. 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 He's uh, he's faking it to try to prove a point to me. All right. No. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. That's okay. I learned a valuable lesson today. Even if Chad is dead, I am living for the first time in my life. Yeah. I want you to be a skateboarder. I want yeah. you to be a skateboarder. And I'm giving up accounting. I want to be a skateboarder too. I don't recommend that. I think you missed. I think you missed the point. Went okay. a little too far. No, no, I'm selling our house, and we're going on the road to be skateboarders. What? Dad made this big. Okay. Well. Okay. I'm gonna uh, move to Mexico. <laughs> on account of there were some serious injuries that happened in my store, and I do not have insurance. Uh, my son kept telling me to get it. Turns out he was right about that one. I can keep the skateboard, right? Yeah, that skateboard is all yours. Let me just wipe off any fingerprints. Okay. There you go. That one's for you. Uh, sir, with uh, Chad uh, Carlston, it's been a pleasure. Uh, any, of the, sure. any of the comic books are all yours. Thank you. No, uh, Carrie, please pull a car up front. Yeah, my, I'll go get the car. My spine is severed. I'll go get the car. Uh, son, pretty sure you're you're still. Uh, I'm just gonna pick you up real quick, and um, <clears throat> yeah, there we go. This seems yeah, you, fine. Yeah. And that's our show. <laughs> <laughs> really.